we are 11 days away from last epoch 1.0 dropping on february 21st and you may or may not know but i will be playing last epoch 1.0 i'll be trying it whether or not i stay on it long term well only the game will let me know whether or not i'm going to invest a lot of time in it and the point of this video is not to tell you that i'm going to be playing last epoch 1.0 on february 21st the point of this video is i'm in a little bit of a dilemma and i kind of need your help and that is this is the very first time that i am going to be playing if you if you've been following me and watching me and you come on my live streams you pretty well know that typically with games i tend to follow a build guide um <clears throat> it's something i've always done but always in the back of my mind i've always wanted to be able to take the leap and create my own builds i just think from the people i've spoken to and kind of <clears throat> getting feedback from other players it's a more rewarding experience number one and number two in the long term, you end up learning more. And that's something that I kind of, that's a road I want to go down. Um, so I've made the decision for last epoch. I want to wing it and create my own belt. So live and learn, make mistakes, fix it, you know, and with the intent that hopefully I'll get a better mastery of all the skills. So that's the landscape, that's the foundation of me playing Last Epoch 1.0. But the point of this video is I need your help because typically I like to play stuff that is new. Uh, and when it comes to Last Epoch, there are two new classes that are coming uh, in 1.0 and I'm in a dilemma. <laughs> I thought I was gonna play Falconer and then I got a little bit of, of exposure to the new Warlock uh, Mastery. And I have to say, I am confused. Uh, not knowing a lot about these builds, what the meta builds are, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about both uh, Masteries. And we're going to look a little bit into it. This is not a reveal on the Falconer or a reveal on the Warlock. Really, this is a selfish video on my part. I want your feedback and input. I'm looking for new players. I'm looking for experienced players. What do you suggest? And and so if so, when someone asks me, do you think I should play this? Do you think I should play that? Obviously, there's questions uh, that I ask because I just don't want to blanketly say, well, I'll play this because everyone has different play styles. Everyone has different things they're looking for when they're playing a game. So just to give you a little bit about typically what I like to prefer, to be honest with you, I don't know if it's going to answer your question. I do typically prefer mid to like range players, uh, play styles, sorry. Um, but I don't mind mucking it up and getting in close just as long as there's area of effect i like builds that can wipe the screen completely uh very quickly who doesn't right um, um so and i like a fast-paced character i don't like a slow build i i like fast characters although don't get me wrong um if they're a little bit slower, but can clear the room, then of course, I, I don't have a problem with that. So that's just, I don't know if that answers your question, um, but that's kind of like what I like as far as play style. Now, let's look into my dilemma. Uh, and um, Max Roll has uh, put out both masteries in the Max Roll website. This is typically the site by the way, if you don't know, it's maxroll.gg and they're, they have build guides and, and, and a ton of information on a lot of other games. Um, so go, ch go check it out. It's really uh, a really good website. There's many of sites like this, but this is the one I use. Um, so the Falconer is a rogue 
Mastery. Um, and here's everything we can share with you regarding the new Falcony Falconer Mastery. We've consolidated information in one post for your reading pleasure and added some theory crafting from the Max Roll Last Epoch team on what skills builds might be good on the Falconer. Okay, now what is the Falconer? The Rogue's third mastery, Falconer, brings a new playstyle to Last Epoch. She is a master technician who employs deceptive traps and a fearsome pet bird of prey to gain the advantages against her enemies. Now, a lot of you will never play a female character, but I have to admit, I I play uh, when I play games, I would say 60% of the time I play a female character. Why do I do that? Um, just because 90% of the player base play a male character. So again, trying to look different. Um, so I play a lot of female characters in the games that I play. So naturally I was intrigued. The Rogue is a class that I play a lot in other games as well. Um, so the Falconer, never fight fair, never fight alone. <laughs> a master technician who relies on devious traps and her fearsome falcon to eviscerate her enemies. Luring prey into her ambush, she survives through quick wits, unscrupulous tactics, and the unwavering bond with her avian ally. Okay? And it looks like she has falconry and falconry strike. Uh, sorry. Falconry and falcon strikes, aerial assault, dive bomb, net, and explosive traps. Wow. Sounds really, really good. Let's take a quick look at some of the falconers gameplay Wow, um, that looks really nice. I have to say, there's nothing in that gameplay reveal of the Falconer that um, kind of sets me off or says, ah, I don't know if I'm going to like that. So looks really nice, like having that bird, that Falcon with you and the strikes coming down. It looks like this is going to be like a reign of terror from the sky kind of build. It looks really quick. It looks like the area effect looks really good. So again, all check marks for kind of like the play style that I like to do. And hence why I'm thinking about using the Falconer as my first build in 1.0. So hold that thought. Up next, 
we have the warlock okay now initially i was already set on the falconer and then during my due diligence not only for this video but just researching because i'm trying to get as much not you have to understand i'm a noob with last epoch i have just i think i have 82 hours in the game and really i just dabbled in it and like i stated in my previous video on last epoch like i got very intrigued with the game when i started playing it and then i kind of hit a wall and i stopped playing it right and i got to about 82 hours of gameplay in last epoch um so i haven't played this or touched this game in a very long time and so 1.0 will be the first time i come back so basically i'm a new player yes i know the ins and outs to a small degree uh, but i'm walking into this like with a fresh pair of eyes and as if i'm new uh, to the game so keep that in mind when you're giving me your suggestions okay um but while i was doing this extra uh due diligence and looking into okay you know what am i going to play i came across the warlock and the um acolytes third mastery is the warlock and the warlock embraces the dark arts through powerful curses and soul magic why fight fair when you can hinder foes with torment and anguish, making them far easier to defeat. Alternatively, harness the raw destructive power of souls in the form of Chthonic Fissure and Ghost Flame and Chaos Bolts to unleash ruin on your enemies. Wow. I have to say, the reason why I'm considering the Wardlock aesthetically on the screen this is what caused me to think, hmm, should I play the Warlock? This looks really nice. Like the play style on screen, it looks, it looks really good. So um, I'm considering it. Okay, so the Warlock is a practitioner of the forbidden arts. She, t ooh, another, sh it's another female. She tears into the essence of her foes twisting and corrupting their bodies and minds with curses most vile. Though her dark magic, through her dark magic, she can devour the very souls of those who would dare stand in her way. Oh my God, it sounds so ominous. Look at that. Like, it's just, ugh. oh my God. It's, what a decision. Like, I'm not going to go wrong either way, but please, Help me out. Throw in, start throwing in your comments. Start throwing, let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, I'm looking for new newbies. I'm looking for seasoned veterans. What's your consider? What do you What do you think I should play? Um, so it has Chthonic Fissure, Chaos Bolts, Ghost Flame, Soul Feast, and Profane Veil. And these are the war, Warlock Curses. Looks like Anguish. Penance, Decrepify, Odd Skin, and Torment, if I got it right. Anyway, holy moly, this is, I'm getting goosebumps right now. The, like, I can't go wrong. But anyway, let's take a quick peek at the Warlock gameplay.
Wow. Now, <clears throat> unbelievable area effect. The curses look amazing. The damage looks good. I do have to say, if really we're comparing them side by side, like on the speed side, it looks like the Falconer is going to be a much more fast paced uh, game style. Uh, it looks like the area effect. Again, these are initial thoughts. I may be way off. We, we won't really know until we get our hands dirty and we are actually playing 1.0 and actually feeling the actual skills of both of these uh, classes. Um, but it looks like the Falconer is gonna be a lot quicker. Uh, the Warlock looks like it's gonna be a much slower uh, uh, pace. Uh, the area effect, again, initial thoughts, looks like the Warlock is gonna have a lot more area of effect. Although I have to say the Falconer didn't seem to lack area of effect damage either. Um, so th this doesn't help me. <laughs> this does not help me. They both look amazing. They both look like fun. Now, obviously, if Last Epoch 1.0 hooks me in, I will eventually have, will play both. Um, but I don't know whether or not that's going to happen. So I need your help. Last Epoch players, we got 11 days or so till 1.0 drops. Get in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts and your recommendations and why. Now, remember, I typically like fast-paced, um, ranged characters, but I also don't mind getting into the middle of things and mucking it up just as long as there's good damage, right? Um, I'm not looking for a glass cannon. I don't like those because I may play uh, different modes in this game, especially with the factions coming up. Like I'm typically an SSF player um, and a hardcore player. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see exactly how I proceed initially with 1.0 when it drops on the 21st. So Remember that when you're giving me your input and your advice and let me know. I know at the end of the day, guys, I know you, you, you probably can't go wrong with either one, but I do like to get out of the gate quick and I do want to play a build that's up there in, in the top builds. And let me know if you think neither of these two are going to be up there uh, with the meta builds. Uh, I'm not saying it needs to be a meta build, but I definitely... In the, in the scale of S, A, B, C, D, I'm not looking for Bs and Cs here, okay? I'm looking for Ss and As, if, if, if you know what I mean by that. So let me know what you think. I'm super excited for February 21st. And by the way, February is a crazy month right now. There's so much going on with other games. And I have a, I got to be honest here, full transparency. I got a lot of games that I got my eye on that are, uh, either updating, coming out, like the the second, the last two weeks of February, for me personally, there's a handful of games. And, and I'm, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't know how I'm going to juggle it all. But anyway, it's going to be very interesting. Uh, w like I said in a previous video, what a time to be a gamer. So awesome to have so much uh, flexibility in what games you want to build. And another thing, my initial impressions of last epoch from the development side 11th hour again very initial analysis here they look like a very uh, a very down to earth uh studio they're a small studio obviously and they're taking their time with this game i think this is their first step into making this game like a full release uh, and, but just the developers are streaming. They're transparent and honest with their community. They don't sugarcoat anything. At least that's been my experience in reviewing some of the videos and some of their live streams. Like when you listen to them, you really get like a good, like it's a, per, it's, 
you get the vibe of like, you know, I want to have a beer with, this is the kind of guy to have a beer with and I'd have fun, you know, talking to him about games. You know what I mean? Um, it's refreshing is all I can say. And again, time will tell. Maybe I'm wrong. This is my initial uh, view of what I've seen so far. But anyway, let me know what you think. What should I play, guys? Falconer or Warlock on February 21st? Last Epoch 1.0. Let me know, get in there, and please give me your whys. Explain yourself, all right? Thank you so much. Uh, and as always, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Subscribing to my channel, liking the video, helps my content get to a broader audience, and we are trying to grow on this channel, and this channel has grown a lot in the small little infancy time that it's been on the internet. So thank you to all my supporters. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.